All right, Bowie. Yes, we did it again. Yep, we tried to. Uh, our coffee was out, and we got this coffee. Yeah, well, our uh, shopper picked one out for Yeah, us. our shopper picked one out because we were to go into the Costco. <laughs> it's too crazy, but let's make sure it's a medium dark. Yeah, um, it's really good. It's definitely actually better than the last one we had. So it, we're going to stick with this one so long we can buy it here. Yeah, as long as it keeps in. The Jose's is pretty good at dark roast. This is medium dark. It got it smooth, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really a nice coffee. It's a beautiful, smooth um, taste. No bite. I'm surprised again. You know, you buy the bulk coffee and you yep, after, get lucky with a good coffee. Yeah, after all this. And uh, it's compatible to that 40 buck a pound from the, or actually it's $40 for 14 yeah. ounces. So it's a little, <laughs> and this is about a little less than 20 bucks for three pounds. We it's learned. A huge, we learned. It's a huge yeah. difference. Another coffee is good. You know, by a big kind of a corporate farm, they have the coffee shops and everything. And uh, yeah, this coffee. So really, when you're looking around, these bulk coffees, no matter how much people diss them, are quite often a lot better than these third wave and these special coffees and these exactly. roasters. You know what? Some of these are a lot better, unless you really know the roaster and go to his thing. Your uh, anything you order on the internet is probably going to be bad. We had yeah. one good one. We, we had like one good one out of how many? Out of uh, from know? roasters, yeah. 20, 30 of them. Yeah. And the ones that outdid every one of those roasters were coffees like this. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, so. this one has really been one of the best, huh? Yeah, and it's great. So buy it at Costco. Yeah. And then now when you're enjoying your, um, especially with the La Pavone, we're kind of analog, you know, without all the electronics and... Yeah, we started doing um, some puzzles. Some puzzles, and you can see what they. Um, I can't even know if I can pronounce that word. I can't but pronounce the it. first one was made by this uh, map guy, and um, he did them for his class. So yeah, here's we just started like most people with the outline. Surprisingly, very relaxing doing puzzles. Yeah, they used to call them dissected puzzles. I guess jigsaw mm -hmm. sounds better. Dissected, I don't know. Yeah, sounds, jigsaw sounds a little bit better. Yeah, this is our second. Um, we just make some coffees, and it's so great to sit there and do it. You kind of talk, and mm -hmm. it's really excellent. I I haven't really done a big jigsaw puzzle in years. Me neither, when I was like 30, 40 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> I did a puzzle like this. Yeah, yeah, we had yeah. a lot of fun relaxing. Yeah, so then the fourth day we did. Yeah, totally relaxing. Yeah. Um, it's nice to get away from all those buttons and apps and exactly. graphs and all this stuff and just go back to regular making a lovely coffee, having fun doing it. And uh, Jigsaw Puzzle. I never who would thought, but it matches so good. It totally good for anxiety and stress. Yes, like, it is. Yeah. And sometimes you don't even realize how long you've been sitting there. That's right. It's then a you, couple hours later. It's like, you go, well, I've been having a great time making yeah. a couple of coffees. And, uh, yeah. Geez. Very satisfying. Really satisfying. <laughs> yeah, we like puzzles. Yeah. We are already working on our second yeah. one. And the people who do puzzles are crucibles. You can try to say that. I can. But they use that word for a lot of people who love puzzles or yeah. um, word puzzles. But I wouldn't even try saying it. I wouldn't words. try saying it. But, yeah, we finished this one. Coffee was appropriate for our first um, jigsaw, though. Yeah. God, it was fun to count. I had just Googled. Googled, yeah. of course. Yeah, Uta found this coffee one. Coffee puzzle. Yeah, coffee there puzzle. Well, there it is. I always kind of like the Millards in the corner is my favorite. I just like the looks of it. Who knows if the coffee was any good, but yeah. yeah. So go ahead and subscribe. You're going to see all kinds of more fun stuff like this.